this privilege and opportunity to once again approach your throne, which we have been invited to continually stand there before. You said in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, that we can boldly approach your throne of grace and find mercy to help in the time of need. And Father, as you know, because of your omniscience, if there's ever been a time that we need you, that time is now. We cannot forsake you. We cannot turn to the left or the right, even behind ourselves or even walk in front before we see and are faced with trouble. Job said in Job, in his book, there is a man that is born of a woman. There are a few days and they're full of trouble. But you told us, Father, that you would be with us in trouble. And even in seven and six temptations, you would restore us. And so, Father, we lift up your name in this park today, which represents a place that is hallowed, a place where your name can be called upon, a place where your spirit can move in the center of the city, representing the fact, Father, that you live and move and have your being through all of your people. And so we approach your throne this morning and this afternoon, and we pray, Father, for the head of our city. We pray, Father, for this mayor and for his staff, and we pray, Father, for all of the governmental officials. And then, Father, you said through your word and through the proverbial writings of he who was the king of Israel, second in succession, his name was Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived beside Jesus Christ himself in the flesh. You said in chapter 9, verse 1, that wisdom has builded her house, and she has hewn it out upon seven pillars. Those seven pillars are the pillars of business. And so, Father, we lift up business now. We cover business, we cover commerce. And Father, you said if any man lack wisdom over in the book of James chapter one, let him ask of you. You will give to all men liberally and upbraid not. So in the name of Jesus, we acknowledge, Father, we do not know how to correctly and adequately build business to face that which is coming, but you know everything. And so Father, we now lay our businesses at your feet. Not only our personal businesses, but the business of the city and the businesses for the city. We pray in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus covers every business owner, covers every business constituent. And in the name of Jesus, Father, as you said to me many years ago, you asked me to come to this city, that as your word increases, so would business and commerce. So I speak that out in this part now in the name of Jesus, that there shall be increase in this city. And there will be people that will wonder why Bessemer, Alabama, because the glory of the Lord is in this place. And so we bow to you right now and we confess this before you boldly in the name of Jesus. And there will be help that comes from your sanctuary in Zion. There will be people that will come looking for this place that is full of land and full of an opportunity to stretch out and expand. And they will fall in love with Bessemer, Alabama. We claim that now in the name of Jesus. And I ask your Father as your servant, let your glory be revealed. Hallelujah. Let your glory be revealed in this place. And we know, Father, that where there's ever there's an increase of darkness, it is always reminiscent and reflective of the fact that there is a light that shines that darkness cannot subdue. And so in the name of Jesus, we lift up the name over this city. And you said, Father, of your son, Jesus Christ, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And so we pray it out now over our businesses and where there are shortages and lack, we bind that now in the name of Jesus. That there will be a superfluous overflow and surplus that comes upon the businesses of this community in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare it so now and the businesses will acknowledge when asked, how did you do this? The business owners will say, not by might nor by power, but it was by the spirit of the living God. And so we pray in the name of Jesus. We arrest the powers of darkness and bind you now. You have no authority over this city. You have no authority over these businesses and you have no authority over the people of the living God. We speak forth your glory in this place 
in Jesus' name. Now, Holy Spirit, you are the voice of wisdom, and you are loose to speak to your people everywhere. I'm asking you, Lord, to wake people up in the middle of the night and give them ideas and concepts and witty inventions. Let inventions come from this city in the name of Jesus. New patents and new corporations, new trademarks will come in this city because your glory has been on this place. We claim it now, and we confess it in the name of Jesus, and we give your name only the glory, and I lift my hands over these wonderful people, Father, and you know I've never lifted my hand to any man, I've never bowed my knee to any man, but in the congregation of these people, I lift my hands and declare, you alone are Lord, and you alone deserve our glory, and we receive it now in this place, in Jesus' name, and the people of God said together, Amen.